Hello, welcome to part two of this 30 days of React challenge, and let's directly deep dive into it. The first challenge was quite easy. Uh, so let's see the second challenge. Okay, paragraph toggling app. So I think we just have to toggle on button click. We have to toggle this. Let's see. In this lab, you will be developing a simple React application that toggles the visibility of the paragraph. You will be testing your skills in handling user interactions. Okay, we will have to use state, obviously because the UI is changing and all. Okay, so there is a concept of use state. Uh, whenever we use something like use state, use ref, use context. All these are called as hooks in React. Uh, so they normally help us making website non-static. Okay, like changing the UI, uh, saving some information, memoization, all those kind of things. So use state is a what you can say is it's a very simple uh, hook which helps us changing the state of our UI. Okay, let me. I'll just take this later on. Okay, so let's try to use it. Uh, what it generally does is they have a const. Uh, we will have to define a const, for example, visibility. Okay, so that if it is true, we'll show this paragraph. If it is false, we won't show this paragraph. Something like that, right? So if we are using a use state what we will have to do is it provides us two values one is set is set uh, one is the val variable which is the visibility and then there is a function related to this which is set visibility normally something like set variable name so we use visibility that's why set visibility and we'll have to use use state and in this we have to mention the default value so by default we want this paragraph to be visible so that should be true Okay, so how it will work is, uh, let's see. We can mention it here that if visibility is true, we will have to show this. So to write that, we can use JSX, this curly braces. Uh, then in that, we can mention this visibility as a variable and, and then this. Okay, so what this operator basically means is that if visibility is true, if the first parameter is true, first argument is true, the second will get rendered or will get executed. Okay, so in this case, if visibility is true, the output of this entire syntax will be this p tag. And if it is false, well, it will by default not get, uh, the second right side will not get computed automatically. So this should control it. Now we have just we just have to control the visibility part but first i will check whether it is working correctly or not so let me run this why is it taking time Do we have to import it? Import use state. Wait. Okay, no worries. Uh, let me. I don't. I'm not sure what the error is here. Use state is not defined. Okay, I was on right track. So I'll just Google search use state in React. Import. use state this okay so let's import this instead we should 
okay no worries later on we can fix this so now this is visible let's toggle the control and this is visible that means our our condition is working let me write it as false and the paragraph is gone great so now we just have to control it <coughs> the best way to control it is create a function called handle visibility you can create a arrow function also either way it's fine and in that let's okay uh, let's do it like this only and in that what I'll do is I'll call this set visibility and I just have to set it opposite to whatever the value of visibility is right so if it is currently it is true we have to set false right so we can simply write negation of visibility okay and now on button click we will have to call this so we are in react so it should be on c should be capital and now i just have to call this function which is handle visibility not call this actually reference this i i in this make sure you are not adding the parenthesis uh, brackets otherwise it will get executed we just have to use it like this so let's try toggle toggle it's working so directly run the test cases and if they are teaching use a state in second problem that means they are going like an exponential curve so third one will be much harder let's see uh, thanks a lot bye bye do subscribe to my youtube channel bye